Katie and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. It's so you can subscribe, the button is always down below, post video lifestyle panning and more. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing my Ipsy Glam Bag X unboxing. My box is literally a mess. No surprise there. Um, it's just been jumbled and I haven't had the chance to film this video until now. I wasn't going to do a try on, but now I kind of do. And some of the products won't be try ons. I won't, we'll just be talking about those. But I did want to kind of do this, this style. I don't know. I just wanted to. So, yeah. So, yeah, we have an Ipsy. So, so we have an Ipsy Glenn Beck X. Um, so, this is part of Ipsy's subscription. It does retail for, I believe, I forget the actual pricing. I'm going to put it on the screen. Um, and just subscribe to the Glam Bag X, which I believe I read that, that they're changing the name of it um, and stuff, which more to stay tuned on that because I don't really know much on it. I just read about it the other day. Um, but yeah, I did read they're changing the name of it, um, which is kind of interesting. Um, but it's called Ipsy Glam Bag X as of right now. Um, but to subscribe to Ipsy Glam Bag X, I got a little off track. I'm talking about it, but to subscribe to it, you have to be subscribed to either the regular Glam Bag or the Glam Bag Plus. Um, I'm, I used to be subscribed to the Glam Bag, but I have switched to Glam Bag Plus recently um, and stuff just, just for now and stuff. So yeah, um, and each box for the Glam Bag is curated by a, like, a public figure, celebrity, whoever it may be. This month's box was created by or curated by Bailey Syrian and you get this like little um like almost like magazine newspaper kind of thing on just the box and stuff. Um and yeah there's just so much information. It also shows you like other things you could have gotten in your box. It also gives you like tips like to how to use your products and stuff so yeah it's very handy honestly this month i wasn't super impressed with it because there wasn't like really any tips in there but you know we have it it is here um and stuff so yeah i'm just gonna get right into it as usual okay so i'm first just going to pin my hair back with my little hair clips which i love just because I don't really want to put it up. My hair gets very poofy when I have it up. So yeah, hair off the face. I have a lot of hair, so I should really use floor clips, but we're not going to do that. I already have my foundation and concealer on and all that kind of stuff. So yeah. So yeah, let's get to it. So the first thing I got in my box is this powder from Laura Mercier. I want to close her up a little bit. This is the Celestial Light translucent loose setting powder from Laura Mercier. That's what it looks like um, and stuff. Um, it's in Celestial Light. It is kind of like a tinted powder. It reminds me of those like old school bare minerals, like mineral veils. I think when I show you guys this, you'll understand what I mean, but that's what, kind of what it looks like in the actual packaging and stuff. So this is what it looks like. And I'm honestly 50, 50 with this. I don't know how I feel about it. So the first time I used this, I was like, oh, that's weird. It's like basically a highlight. Like I know it's supposed to be like a glowy type of powder, but to me it gave very much to the look of a highlighter which wasn't bad because it like gave me like I don't know gave me a glow which I enjoy and for like days when I'm not doing like glam makeup it, it, glam makeup it kind of gives me like a glowy just natural look which I really like and stuff it's just it's nice I just don't know if I'm like sold on it for setting or anything like that it's definitely not my favorite and honestly Anastasia is not cruelty free so this is gonna be like a use it and lose it product for me because you know I am like pretty much cruelty free and stuff so yeah I just I'm not sold on this I don't know how I feel about it see we're definitely getting that glow um on the face and it's just I don't know if it like really set sets and stuff I just don't know if I'm really sold on it um and stuff so I kind of put another powder over it too I just don't know how I feel about that you know 
I feel like my bag is going to be very jumbled because most of the stuff I got, I feel like that this month was like skincare. So that's that. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that powder, but you know, um, we'll see. Okay, so the next thing I got in my box, well actually I picked this as an add-on, which made my box take forever to get here. I would have filmed it late anyways. Um, and I'm actually filming it a lot later than I was planning on just because I did travel um, earlier this month. I went away from like the 10th to like the 17th. So like f for like the whole middle of the month, I was gone. Like I was only gone for a week, but like that literally takes a lot out of you because by the time I was able to film again, you know, it's, it's, it's a long story that I don't need to get into, but I tend to do that. So I got this palette from Aether Beauty, which I've never tried. I don't think I've tried this brand before, so I'm actually pretty excited for this. I've actually haven't used it, haven't taken it out of there or anything. What did we get? A little card. Yeah, it's like a little card that almost seems like astrology. I don't know. Um, but let's open up the palette. Very basic packaging. And then like it, so this is what it looks like. It has like a little message right there. Um, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to read that, but if you want, you can. And then this is what the actual palette looks like. I picked it cause it's like, so like, I, I couldn't pass it up. The colors are just so gorgeous and it's mostly, um, shimmers, but you do have like a few staple mattes. Um, and that little note says how they have removed the mirror and magnets inside to be more sustainable. We strive to make the best sustainable choices in all our products. And let's be real, you probably are be, will be using this palette in front of the mirror anyways. Removing the mirror and magnets it has become fully recyclable. And we are saving this palette from going directly into the landfill. It's a win-win for both of us. That is so true because like who like I do when I'm filming I use the mirrors but I also have like a billion other palettes that do have mirrors. So I actually like that. I kind of I don't know what color I want to go for today. Like what idea I want to go for today. Like what color? I really don't know. I'm swatching a few of them. I definitely see like what kind of look I would want to go for. That's what they look like. Honestly, when I'm swatching them in person, they're very like lackluster, but I always use like either setting sprays or I'll use like glitter glue. So let's actually try these out. I need to prime my eyes though, like I do every single day. Um, so I'm gonna use my Rare Beauty primer, like I always do. This is my favorite eye primer. I've been using it for like the longest time. So just put that on my eyes. Blender. And then I'm just gonna use your basic matte white shade. I can find a friggin' brush to use. This is actually like a more of a cream shade. This leads into something else that I got in this, and I'm really excited. This is from Beauty For Real, and I got a set of brushes um, and stuff, and I wanna use these today and like test them out for real. So let's take these out. Okay, so this is what the, okay, so this is what the brushes look like um, and stuff. So we have like a liner brush, it's angled too. So that's the liner brush. Then we have a like contour brush. So this is gonna be like your crease brush, I would say. Then we have like a flat shader brush. Um, yes, a shader brush. And then we have like your, they're calling it their angle spoolie. So yes, like your eyebrow brush, like if you did a dip brow. I don't, but I'm happy to have like a spoolie again because I haven't, I got rid of mine because it was like falling apart um, and I really need something to brush up my brows. So that's kind of, that was kind of the reason of this because I was like, oh, spoolie, like that was what, and like, honestly the choices, because you do get like, what's nice about like this um, is you do get three, to pick three out of eight of your products. Um, and stuff at that one and then we got a blender brush which I would use this either for my lid or like or I don't know we'll kind of see but I'm gonna use try to use as many of these today I'm gonna zoom you guys in 
because we're gonna obviously be doing our eyeshadow. Okay, so the first shade I'm going to be using is going to be that brown shade right there. And we're gonna kind of see, this brush feels like slightly stiffer than like the brush I usually use. I, I usually use my Morphe brush. It's like the M44 something stuff, but you know, we're testing this out today. Oh, here it is. So this is the Morphe brush I usually do use. This is the Morphe M441. So let's try to do a comparison of both of these. So that's like the comparison. This one's a little bit smaller and it looks stiffer. We'll see how it goes though. Keep it our options open. I'm gonna tap off the excess and we're gonna go in and see. Yes, it's definitely stiffer, but honestly, we're getting a good blend. That matte is so pigmented and so creamy, but it's not patchy at all. You've definitely used some mattes that are just not it. Going with a little bit more. Um, it's blending it nicely. It is stiffer, so this wouldn't honestly be my first choice for like the crease brush, but it is like kind of nice. Okay, I'm gonna go in again. I didn't tap off as much on that eye and it honestly looks a little bit crazier. I definitely don't love that as much, but um, I could always use it for like a different like part of my eye. Like I could definitely use it for the outer corner colors. And stuff. I don't know what color I want to use. Like I kind of want to go for that pinky color, but I also kind of want to go for the white, the silver. Like I'm in between these, that shade and that shade. I kind of want to see what it does on its own. So I'm going to take that pink shade. Well, I just wanted to see like what it would look like with nothing to like help it. So I'm going to see how pigmented it is. Okay, not too bad. It's like not as pigmented as I would like, but that's kind of what it looks like. So I'm gonna take some glitter glue on the back of my hand, take it with my finger and put it right on the eyelid. Put a nice bit of it on, inner corner, outer corner. And then I'm gonna go in with that pinky shade again and see how that changes just going over a nice glitter glue. Oh yeah, that's definitely how I like it. It's definitely a lot more pigmented. So now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye. I definitely have a hair there. Those are definitely not like favorite shimmers for me, but they're pretty good, pretty good. And I've only tried that one. So who says like what the other ones will be like. So I'll put this one on. It could also just be the brush because I don't usually, like I use these types of brushes, but it could just be the brush as well. Cause it, these are like stiffer. Who honestly knows? Like it could just be cause it's like a stiffer type of brush. So this is stained green, but I'm gonna try it with like the pink. And like, obviously that shit could just be more lackluster too. Cause like, I don't know. It's honestly, this brush is just one of my favorites for like shimmers. And I kind of want to mix that pink with like the silver shade. So I'm going to do that. And we're going to apply it to like the inner part going out. Let's see how it looks. I don't know. These aren't like my favorite shimmers, but they're not bad. Would I actually pay the money? Like, yes, I did pay the money for the add-on, but I don't know how I feel about these. They're like not the, they're not as good as I was thinking. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not disappointed. I'm just, they're not what I expected, I guess is what the better way to put it, but it definitely, they're pretty. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I don't know, the shades just looked, they're pretty. I don't know how to explain it. Like, it's just not exactly what I would have expected, if I'm being honest. It happens. And it also could just be the technique. I could just use it, like, on my finger and see. And apply a little bit of that silvery, like, champagne shade in my inner corners. And yeah, this is what my eyes are looking like. 
Okay, so I actually have a couple lip products to try. I'm going to just try them right now. Um, and so, so the first one I picked out, um, this is from Natasha Denona. This is the Lip Pora Gloss and Balm. Um, I'm really excited to see this. I haven't tested this one out yet. Um, but this is what it looks like. It looks like a nudie brown color. So let's see what it looks like on. It's very glossy, that's for sure. It's a very pretty nude. And honestly, it doesn't look too bad with this look too. Um, that's actually what it looks like in the tube. It is in the shade Mauve. So it's like a mauve nude. She glossy, she pretty and stuff. I don't have much to say on that. And I know I haven't mentioned prices. I will like put them... I'll put them on the screen. And so the next one, I did take a video of this because it came packaged super cute. And it's still sort of packaged the same way. But this is from Pat McGrath. This is the Forbidden Love and Lust Lip Duo. Um, so with this, you get the this lipstick, the Pat McGrath Labs Beautiful Stranger um, lipstick, um, which looks like this and this is such a small lipstick for being pat mcgrath i'm like not even sorry for saying that like why would i be anyways like it's my opinion um it's just so small for being like i don't know like like pat mcgrath like this is so i'm sure it's expensive and then you also get this cute little thing that's like in this heart packaging i don't love this packaging like yes it's cutesy i get it but it's also like how do you get all like every drop out of there like i just find it so hard to even just get it out there in general i'm gonna put a little bit of this on with that nude and actually it's cute it's she cute and stuff but I don't know. I just feel like this for being Pat McGrath isn't worth it. I can't even imagine this is the actual full size. Like you give me two like itty bitty products. Are you kidding? I don't know. I'm just, I'm like kind of iffy on that one, but whatever. Okay. So next time, so I have three more products. I am going to go finish off the rest of my makeup and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I finished off my makeup and now I'm going to talk about the other three things I got in this box. Yeah, I guess there is three. Wait, there might be four. Yeah, there actually might be four because I know. So the next thing I got um, is, I think I might have picked this. This is the Item Beauty Slick Type Replenishing Cleansing Balm for Dry Skin. I picked this just because, I don't know, I like cleansing balm, so I figured it was just something I would actually use. Um, and I think, I don't know, um, and stuff. So this is like the cleansing balm, um, and stuff. I have used this once because I wanted to test it out, um, and stuff. And so you open it up and it has like your spatula and everything right there, which I actually like because sometimes they have them for products and then you don't really have anywhere to put it. I like how it's attached to it and then you unscrew it and that's where the cleansing balm is. The only thing I don't like about this is it's scented. I prefer unscented skincare. I'm not like super sensitive to skincare like scents. I used to be. I'm not really, but I just prefer to my for my skincare to be unscented. That's just my preference. But this is nice and it did remove my makeup very well, kept it hydrated. So I do really like it. Um, I do really like Item Beauty um, and stuff. I know it's leaving Sephora, but it is a good brand. So the next one is a face. So the next product I have to mention is this face mask. It's the Evening Detox Clay Mask Anti-Pollution Purifying Mask with malic trite and kale and clay for a 10 minute skin detox this is from the brand this works which i really do like um and stuff this basically is just like your typical green mask i put it on last night so i'll insert a picture of it um but you basically just keep it on for 10 minutes minutes i could feel it working in my skin which some people are like oh that's bad but i don't know i have never had an issue really and stuff but it's basically just supposed to like it's supposed to have a tingling sensation it says the tingling sens sensation is normal and may be experienced in use which that definitely gave me that feeling which i don't mind because i'm like oh it's working i know that's not always the case if something is tingling and it's not supposed to tingle like obviously take it off but it was okay it was good it was great i liked it and i'll continue to use it of course next is this moisturizer i don't know how i felt about this this is like a night 
cream. I wasn't really super into it. I hate packaging like this. I had a primer with this packaging once and it was literally didn't work. Um, the, this is the thing I don't like is now it's spewing out. Um, but you know, just how it is, I guess. That's why I don't like that packaging. I might honestly move this into a different container. Um, but I'll show you guys what the consistency of this is. That's what it looks like. Um, it's a very thick cream and stuff. Um, very thick. Um, I wasn't sure if I liked it. Um, it just felt like super thick. I don't really like the smell of it either. It smells weird. Like those weird hand creams. I don't know. I just didn't love it. Um, if I'm being honest, like it just wasn't my favorite, not my thing. Um, personally, just not, not my cup of tea. So yeah, you win some, you lose some. It's not the worst, but it's just not my personal favorite. I do have a lot of different containers though. So I might honestly put it in different packaging. I just don't like the packaging either. Yeah, I have like a billion and one different container so I'll probably put it in one of those and stuff it needs to be cleaned out but I will once it's cleaned out okay so the next the next thing and actually the last thing I got is this um these are interesting these are like little capsules these are what they look like this is from the brand rehab these are the dose 1.0 hair oil um stuff so these each dose of this contains rich blend of moroccan oil jojoba oil aloe vera oil argan oil and vitamins a c e and b5 um rehab strengthen and repair your damaged hair with a smooth and shiny finish so i really like these actually and i've heard about these but i've never actually used one of these so they're basically it comes with a bunch of these little capsules that are in there is what they look like they're little capsules basically what you do is you break it off and then there's oil in here um so they look like little pills but you break it off you put the oil in your hand um squirt it in you know your hand you put the oil in your hand like you um get it out of here um and then you work it into your hair i work it into my ends of my hair i didn't do it yesterday when i washed my hair but i'll have to do it on my next hair wash um, and it made it so hydrated and just it was really nice i don't know if it says how many capsules you get in here but there's a bunch of different capsules in there so you get like a bunch of different hair oil in there um and stuff and it was really nice i definitely need to use it again um and so my hair is generally healthy but i love a little extra hydration especially in the winter time so okay my thoughts on this box i got a lot of things i like like i like the mask so far i like the cleansing balm so far the powders are right it's nothing i would have picked out myself especially being laura mercier the moisturizer isn't my favorite it's like a thick moisturizer so not my favorite um but i am gonna try and use it up obviously the lip stuff is nice i like it i really like the gloss font from Natasha Denona probably the best the palette's nice just I would say this is probably like this isn't a bad box I definitely got things I like but I'm definitely not in love with things like I have been in other Ipsy boxes and just in Ipsy Glen Bank X in general I've been pretty content with a lot of things I got just this month wasn't really the best month I've had I guess is a good way to put it but yeah um if you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up i will definitely be posting this in march because it's literally february 28th when i'm posting when i'm filming this um i'm like behind on like i have three I think three videos i have to film um that were supposed to go up in february but you know that's what it does that's what happens when you travel and then you come back and you don't film life happens you know anyway so i hope you guys enjoyed this video did please give a thumbs up let me know what you got in your boxes whether it's ipsy or not i'm really curious what did you get in your bags boxes whatever it may be um and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already I post lots of panning content and also lots of unboxings and stuff i feel like i'm always posting panning content but that's just because i will have a different video coming up for my trip which i'm excited it's not really different because i do it every time i travel but 
good old travel diary coming coming soon i did just edit it but i have other videos i want to go up before that so that'll probably be like my middle video anyways we're rambling on per usual um so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video so yeah i hope you enjoyed this um and stuff and i will see you in my next video bye <laughs>